Hi friend. So let us learn CSS selectors, how to write CSS selector and what are the important and different functions in CSS selector. There are a lot of functions. The very fun very important and the very first function is has an ID value. So whenever there is an ID available in the web element for the web element in the DOM, then we can use hash and ID value. If class is there, then dot class value. If tag name you find that that's a unique tag name, then you can use tag name. This is a function like we have in XPath tag name, open square bracket, attribute name is equal to attribute value. You can write attribute value inside double quote, single quote, or without quote. Anything is fine. This is more than one attribute. Right now, I'm just showing all these functions, different functions. And I will sh show you the trick and will give you the trick that you will not have to remember all these functions. But just for knowledge, yes, you should be aware of all these functions. There are special functions as well in CSS selector, which you might have not seen in XPath, like dollar, cap, star. These are really good functions. Dollar is like ends with attribute value, cap is starts with star contains. And whenever you have to write in CSS selector by ignoring the cases like uh, there is uppercase lowercase in the value then you, in that case you can use this case insensitive function I it's a very useful and very good function and very small I will show you all the use cases don't worry about that for now I will go walk you through all the XPath function. There are more functions in CSS selectors. Sorry, not XPath. Wherever I'm saying XPath, it's CSS selector. Basically, I'm, I want to say a space combinator selects nodes that are descendants of the first element. So if you see here, like uh, the first descendant of this one. So if we type div and then uh, space h3, then this one it will give me. So the space combinator selects the nodes that are descendants of the first element. Uh, cap, uh, sorry, arrow combinator selects nodes that are direct children of the first element. So if you if you want the children of this element, so you can use the arrow. It will show you those uh, children of that. I will show you all all of them is practical and very easy to learn all these functions and you need not to remember all of them so don't worry about that the combinator selects siblings this means that the second element follows the first though not necessarily immediately we will uh, we'll come to this uh, lecture again the plus combinator selects adjacent sibling one to each other then first child last child nth child nth last child first of type last of type so uh, I hope like now you have heard some of the functions in the coming lecture we will see the practical example of all these functions and lot more. Thank you.